In this session, we are going to see one problem. The displacement in meters of a particle is moving along a x-axis is given by the equation x is equal to 80 plus 5t squared. So what is uh, this? The polynomial represents the displacement of the particle. So we have to calculate the instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous means the velocity of the particle at a particular second. That particular second is given as a t is equal to 2 seconds. So what is the velocity? Velocity means displacement by time. We have to differentiate the displacement with respect to time because here the time derivative is given. So d by dt of 18t plus 5t squared. So what is the differentiation? We have to uh, differentiate d by dt of 18t plus d by dt of 5t squared. So what is the uh, d by dt of 18t, you have to take the 18 outside, so t power 1, t power 1 means what is the differentiation formula, are you remember, yes, the differentiation of x power n is n into x power n minus 1, so here the differentiation of t power n means n into t power n minus 1, so here we have 18t, 18 taken outside, t power 1, so 1 into t power 1 minus 1 is a 0, so the answer is 18 t power 0 we get only 18 so the velocity is 18 alone plus the same plus we have to put d by dt of 5 t squared you have to take t out uh, 5 outside and t squared means 2 into t power 1 reduce 1 power so we get finally the velocity as v is equal to 18 plus 5 into 2 t power 1 5 2 are 10 so we get 18 plus 10 t as the question is given that what is the velocity at time t is equal to 2 seconds. So what is the velocity equation 18 plus 10 t substitute this uh, uh, 2 seconds in this time part. So velocity v is equal to 18 plus 10 t. So 18 plus 10 into 2 we get 18 plus 20 with 38 meter per second is the instantaneous velocity at time t is equal to 2 seconds. Now we are going to see that what is the average velocity between time t is equal to 2 seconds and 3 seconds. So average velocity means we have to first find that what is the position of the body at t is equal to 2 seconds. What is the position of the body at t is equal to 3 seconds. Position means displacement. What is the displacement equation given in the question itself? x is equal to 80 plus 5 t squared. So in the t we have to substitute the time. So for the displacement at time t is equal to 2 seconds. First is displacement x1 is equal to 18 into 2 plus 5 into 2, 2 squared. So we get an answer x1 is equal to 56 meter. So uh, the position, the displacement of the body at the time t is equal to 2 seconds is 56 meter. Similarly, at the time t is equal to 3 seconds, what is the position we can represent as, as a x2. Instead of t, you substitute 3, we get an answer 54 plus 45 99 meter so the position of the body at t is equal to 2 seconds and uh, t is equal to 3 seconds it is calculated as 56 meter and 99 meter the average velocity is change in displacement by change in time what is a change in displacement final displacement minus initial displacement divided by the final time minus initial time so 99 minus 56 divided by 3 minus 2, 3 minus 2 is a 1, we get an answer 43 meter per second. The next one is instantaneous acceleration. What is acceleration? Yes, the acceleration is a rate of change of velocity, the velocity derivative dv by dt. So you put d by dt of what is velocity? In question, it is given as a x is equal to 80 plus 5 t squared only. But in the first subdivision of this question, we found that velocity as a 18 plus 10 t. You have to differentiate this velocity only for calculating the acceleration. So acceleration which is equal to d by dt of the velocity equation 18 plus 10 t. So 18 plus 10 t, if you do, what is the differentiation of the constant? Yes, d by dt of 18 alone, there is a no t is here, if it is a t power 0, so what is the t power 0, if you bring the 0 here, it will become 0, so the differentiation of any constant is 0, the differentiation of this constant alone, 0, plus 10 into t, so d by dt means we get t is equal to 1, so 10 into 1, we get the acceleration 10 meter per second squared. 
again students clearly i will say that this 18 become zero because here there is a no time derivative so it is a constant alone you put zero here it is a 10 10 is multiplied with the time there is a time derivative you will get you are going to differentiate this one with respect to time only so what will happen 10 into t power 1 is there so 10 into 1 into t power 1 minus 1 so we get 10 into 1 into t power 0 so anything power 0 is 1 we get only 10 so that 10 only substituted here so understand the differentiation very clearly so for writing the class work note i will give the uh, pages so this is a starting problem question and you have to continue with this page calculating the velocity and substituting the instantaneous velocity at time t is equal to 2 seconds and calculating the average velocity first you have to calculate the displacement x1 at time t is equal to 2 seconds and then you have to calculate the displacement x2 at time t is equal to 3 seconds calculate the average velocity and finally acceleration so once you understand the differentiation very clearly and these two formula is enough for calculating this type of problems without any mistake